So this video is all about focus stacking in Lightroom and Photoshop and how you can get extra sharp images out of your landscape photography. So basically focus stacking is all about having an image that is sharp from up close to the camera all the way out to the horizon. And to show you best, we're just gonna go out, we're gonna find a composition, we're gonna shoot it, and then we'll come back here and we'll jump into Lightroom and Photoshop and I'll show you how I edit it. But before we head out, if you haven't done it already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and um, that way you can see more videos about photography and stuff. All right, so I found a composition that's gonna be perfect for this focus stacking tutorial. Now it's not gonna be like an epic sunrise shot um, because I slept in till 10 in the morning, but it's gonna be a perfect example of how to teach you guys how to focus stack. So here's what we've got. I'm gonna focus one shot right here as close to the camera as possible. I'm gonna take another shot focused over here on my middle ground. And then I'm gonna take a third shot focused to infinity. And once we get back home, we'll put them in the computer and I'll show you how to stack them so that we end up having a photo that is perfectly sharp from there all the way to infinity. Okay, so by the way, um, when you're doing a focus stack like this, make sure that you're in manual mode because the only thing we wanna be changing is the focus. You don't wanna be changing the, uh, you know, the shutter speed or the aperture or the ISO or anything. So make sure manual mode whenever you're doing the focus stacking and that you're, you know, using a really good tripod and um, you're not going to be moving around a lot. So now that we got that done, let's uh, let's head back and I'll show you how to stack these up in Lightroom and Photoshop. All right, we're back home now. Let's um, open up these photos and I'll show you how I focus stack them. All right, so I got my photos open here in Lightroom. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is give it kind of a quick edit. Um, before I put them all together. So the first thing that I usually do with my landscapes is um, it's a little, little dull. So I'm going to bring my whites up about right there. And if you don't know how to do this, um, hold down the Alt key while you're scrolling this and that will show you when you start to peak. So let's uh, put them about right there. Blacks look good where they're at. I'm gonna raise the shadows just a little bit. I'm gonna give it just a little bit of contrast. And I don't like the over vibrance. So I'm gonna just kind of mute that just a little bit. Now that looks, that looks very similar to what I actually saw today. So that's where I'm gonna go right there. And then what you wanna do is you want to apply the exact same changes to all of the images. So I'm gonna select all of them and I'm gonna sync them and I'm just syncing everything. So now each one has the same exposure. Now what we're gonna do is uh, we want to combine all these together because like this image right here is gonna be sharp in this closer area um, however, it's not so sharp right there, but the next one, as you can see, is much sharper. So we want to blend all of those together. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and select all of them here again, right click, and then I'm going to edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. All right, so now we're in Photoshop and you can see that we got each one of the images as its own layer over here on the side. Uh, the first thing that we want to do, even though we was using a tripod, we want to make sure that everything is lined up perfectly and that there wasn't any movement or shake whenever I was taking the images. So we're going to come over here to edit. You're going to come down to auto align layers and then we'll just let it do the auto because I find that usually that works just fine. And you can see that I was a little bit off. Um, there was some movement over here on the edge. If you look really close, you can see that, see that white line? that's where the images weren't lining up accurately. So Photoshop now has them perfectly aligned. Now all we have to do is come back to the edit menu, go down to auto blend layers, and you wanna choose stack images. And then I always just keep uh, both of these checked. And Photoshop seems to be pretty smart about this. Um, so I just, I let it do its thing. And then once it's done blending everything together, we'll have uh, our final image. Now, most of the time, Photoshop does a perfect job right here. Um, it gives you your final image right there. It's already merged together for you so that you can, you know, flatten it down, go back into Lightroom, save it, whatever you want to do. But if it does have some errors in it, because it will mess up from time to time, um, you can always click on the layer mask and go in there and fine tune it with your paintbrush. 
Um, but most of the time, I, I find that Photoshop does a great job, you know, right out of the box with it. Um, but that's really it. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. If you want to see more content about photography, how to shoot video, how to edit, stuff like that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video and it helped you out, make sure you give it a like and I will see you in the next one. Later.